Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam, and today I'm playing V Commandos Operation Silence. Um, so this is our penultimate mission. Uh, there's only three uh, kind of terrains in this, so we're going to have a first part now. Hopefully, we'll do this in one try. If not, as always, I'll have to try again. I only ever get two attempts at doing this. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to try the first one, which is the cliffs. And then if we manage to successfully do this, then you can join us next week for the second part, which will be doing the whatever the next two uh, terrain are. Um, so, yeah, let's get to the table and see if I can do it. So here we are for Operation Silence. And as always, I'm going to just give you a quick uh, 1940s briefing of what exactly Operation Silence is. A powerful fortified battery was spotted within firing range of the landing beaches. Those cannons are an imminent threat for the Allied troops. They have to be eliminated by dawn of D-Day. The bunkers protecting the cannons are on top of a 300-foot cliff. Your training should be useful there. Once at the top, be quick to blow the bunkers up. So we are trying to stop these cannons from taking out the D-Day landing. So this is a slightly important mission. Hopefully I can do this. As always, I only have two attempts at this entire operation um so let's talk about the cliff so we're currently on the cliff level at the moment um and a searchlight on the cliff spots the commandos when they get to the beach the alarm is triggered and if we play veteran difficulty level um we'd basically be keeping the uh, enemy units out where they are and um yeah it, it kind of it escalate for the next mission but because we're playing on regular difficulty we don't have to worry about uh, maintaining any uh any count of what elite troops we've got wearing stuff, so that's pretty good. So what are we doing on the cliffs? Well, uh, like flies off a sugar cake. We've got to place ropes on top of the cliff, which is this little tile here. Um, it's one AP on each of those uh, particular objective points. And then we've got to use the exit, um, which is just here. We can't go through this one, we have to come through this one. Um, you'll note we have got the alarm, like I say, is already off, so we're going to be having at least two people in these uh, entrances each round, unless we can take this out. Um, we've got uh, we've got MG Ness here with somebody in it. Uh, we've got these two guys protecting this place. So, um, yeah. We've got to try and get through this as quick as possible, I think. Uh, and the alarm's already off, so it doesn't really matter what weapons we're using for this, really, because... Um, we're already going to be making a ton of noise. We're, I mean, this is a large tile to begin with, so we're all going to be visible at the very beginning. So uh, my plan is going to be simple. I'm going to aim to um, go, come through here, shoot this guy, get someone in there to kill these two guys, someone to come in here and take out uh, and do the AP on there. Probably the scout. The scout will then potentially go through here, turn the alarm off, and let everyone get out. The only problem is if we are visible at the end of the round, um, anybody who moves, anyone who is in this space is going to be able to attack these two places. So uh, we don't want to have that happen. We need to eliminate these guys as quickly as humanly possible. So who have I got for this particular mission? Well, I have got the scout who is on his tan side, which means he can walk through walls, which is great. Uh, he's got a crowbar as well, which is just one of the best things in this entire game. Uh, we've got the medic coming out on his tan side and he's got a first aid kit. And he can roll a five or a six when he uses a first aid kit. If he rolls a five or a six, he gets to keep that first aid kit. We have the officer who has only got a piddly little pistol here, but he can give a plus one AP token to a commando or uh, on his level or himself, or he can give a plus one dice shooting bonus for one shot to a commando within shooting range or to himself, which is great. Then, of course, because the alarm's going off, it would be. It would make no sense not to have the sapper. The sapper has got his bar rifle, which does three dice worth of damage. Um, so I think we're going to begin the very the very start of this off with bringing the sapper out. So uh, this is the first part. There is a second part of this mission, which will be going over the uh, blockhouse and the battery. But let's see if we can make it through this to begin with. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle the cards as always. Before I forget that you have to do an event turn before you do anything else in this game. Uh, because you, you kind of set this up and you plan what you're going to do. And then the event comes out and it totally changes what you're going to do. So let's see what's going to happen. So you think it can't get worse. At the end of the commando's phase, a German tank shoots at a tile containing a visible commando. 
can be avoided by using a plus one AP token to move on to an adjacent tile. That sucks. Um, what doesn't suck is everyone's going to be moving west, which means we're not going to have anybody on this tile at the end of this round. I do have to make sure my guys are visible, though. That's uh, are, are stealthy, even. Otherwise, that uh, that is not going to be good. Okay, so we're going to bring the sapper out first. One action point to come out here. He's going to spend. This kind of sucks because straight away I'm not. Go I'm going to have somebody visible. So, okay, we're, yeah, we're just going to do this. Hopefully, this this will this will work. Okay, so we're going to shoot with him. Uh, we got a six, which is enough to take out this guy here, which is great. So he's done two actions at the moment. He's got one action point left. We're going to keep that action point because he's going to need that uh, to move off the tile that the um, that the German tank is shooting at. So next, we're going to grab the uh, medic. The medic is going to come out for one, and then he's going to use two action points to move into this space, which means he is actually... Let's move into this space, which means he is now stealthy. Uh, the scout is going to spend, is going to come out for one action point. He's going to move into here for a second action point. And, oh, everyone's moving west, so I should probably take those guys out. Oof. No. So we're in there for one action point. Oh, this is really tricky. What to do? Straight away, because of this tank, it's really scuppered my initial attempt here. Okay, yeah, we could do this. So he comes out there for one action point. We're going to move in here for a second action point. We're then going to shoot into this thing for his final action point. Hopefully getting above two to take out both these guys. And yes, we've taken out both these guys. Oh, I forgot to put a... Sorry, guys, I should have put a token down. Uh, when we killed the guy who was in there. So there is one of these crowbars in there, which is perfect. I love a crowbar. Uh, we have now shot into this area here, which has made our guy visible. Um, and we are going to be taking up both of these guys because of that. And we find two items here. Oh, a spotted token, but he's already visible and there's no one on this tile to make him visible. So uh, that doesn't really do much. So uh, that's the end of his go. He's he's visible and he's in there and this could be pretty bad. However, we're in luck because the officer comes out and we're going to give a plus one AP token to the scout. Um, and then this this might actually work now. So the officer's moved in for one. He's going to spend two action points to move into this zone here. Okay, so the commandos have moved. I'm then going to use the um, the plus ones for... So the, the sapper is going to use his plus one, which... Actually, we'll do the scout first. Sorry. The scout is going to move into here for plus one. Uh, he is visible there, though. The sapper's next. He is going to move into this area for plus one. He is also visible, though. And we're going to pick up this. Uh, I'm very worried that we're, things are going to go terribly wrong now. Because as we have visible commandos, these guys are going to move on to this tile. I did not think this out. Um, okay, so starting up here, we have two guys here. We have two guys here. We have two guys here. This one is a blank token, so I remove that and add an elite to the bag. Okay, so now it's enemy movement. So uh, two of these guys are going to move this way. Uh, these guys are also going to move this way then this guy's going to move into here and we have to do a quick stealth check to make sure that he has not spotted those two guys if he has we're going to be in a world of hurt so this is for the medic the medic has been spotted and this is for the officer also spotted okay so they're attacking now we're going to start off with this guy in this space here so he's going to attack and he got one hit so we're going to apply that hit to the medic and then these two guys are attacking into this space here. And both, luckily, were misses. I found the fuse box. 
A commando may remove a light fuse. All indoor tiles are treated like small tiles because of darkness. Next turn, any commando except for the scout without German uniform on a large tile will be visible. And everyone's moving west again. Okay, so we're going to start off with the scout. He's going to spend two action points to place the ropes. So we've done the objective for this. We just need to get out of here now. He has got one action point left. We're going to pick up this explosive because you never know when you're going to need it. And we are going to move one space into here. He is now stealthy. Uh, we're going to activate the medic next. No, the officer next. The officer's going to go next. He's going to try and take out this guy. And he got a five, so yeah, we're taking this guy out. A spotted token, so these guys are both, well, revealed, which is fine. The officer is then going to... Oh, I've only had a crowbar. Okay, the officer's gonna, going to... So his first one is to kill that guy stealthily. Second one is to take out these two guys, I guess. He's going to give them a plus one die bonus shooting for this shot. He got a four, so he took out one of the guys. Not enough, though. We should have taken out both of them. Another spotted token. Ugh. Okay, he's then going to give himself a plus one AP token. And he's going to move stealthily onto this space here. Okay, the French medic is going to use his medical kit to see if he can restore his health, which he does. And then we're going to just see if we keep it. Five or six, he keeps it. So one, we lose the medical kit. Um, so that was his first action. He's going to spend two action points to move onto here. Uh, and then we are going to, we're going to move one here and then we're going to move two onto this space here. So my guys are all stealthy now. We've got an elite come out. And then everyone is moving west. All this quiet. Oh, sniper. During enemy shooting step, one commando without German uniform on an outdoor tile suffers one injury. Maybe avoid an exchange for a plus one AP token and everyone is moving east. Let's start with the French uh, medic. So he's going to shoot into this tile. And he took out this guard here. Okay. Uh, he's then using... Two action points to move into this tile quietly. And then everyone else is going to move into this tile for two, uh, two action points. He's going to give a plus one AP to the uh, of the medic even. And then he's going to uh, save his third action. So he's got a plus one AP token. Um, the sapper is also going to move... Two action points to move in here. He's going to take up the explosives. He's going to use a plus one AP to be there. And then the medic, sorry, the, the scout even, is going to move one action point into here. He is then going to save a plus one. Um, it's the end of the round, so we're going to use all of these to avoid the sniper shot. Oh, it's one commando. So we get to choose who it's going to be. And we're going to take off from the, the officer because he can give himself a plus one anyway. Okay, so uh, we reinforce. It's getting crowded in here, guys. And then everybody moves. And they're moving east this time. Okay, the next event, everyone's going to move north, Ein cuts. If the alarm is silent, discard up to three spotted tokens from the equipment reserve. I think it's a cat, but it is not. Okay, so the medic's going to move in here. No, 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 no. Let me get the... 
Let's get the sapper to move in here for one action point. He's then going to shoot into this area. And he killed one person, so we're going to take out the elite. He's now visible. There's a German officer disguised there. So one to move, two to shoot. Oh, I shot again. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, so he's taken out two of these guys. Um, and then we're going to try and move into here silently. So for his last action, and hopefully we manage to pass the stealth check. We did. Oof, that was close. Okay, we might do this then. Our French medic is coming in next. He's going to shoot into this tile. Um, oh, so we got a six there and a two. Uh, so we take out this guy. There's a crowbar there. Perfect. So he's going to move into here for three. He's going to pick up the crowbar for free. And then he's going to open up this door using his plus one AP token. Okay, so uh, we're then going to have the officer come in for one. He's going to move in here for two. He's going to pick up these two items and then he's moving out the level. Uh, but before he does that, he's going to give himself a plus one AP token. And he's out. Scouts next. One, two, and he's out also. So, reinforcements. So this guy's in now. Oh, we start up here, don't we? So these guys are here. Um, these guys come in. And then these guys are in here and everyone is moving north, which is fine. The last event, secure that door once during this turn by giving three of his equipment tokens to the resistance. One commander will pick up one crowbar token in the equipment reserve to barricade an enemy entrance on his level. And everyone's moving north, but we don't worry about that. We're going to give, um, the sapper is going to give himself a plus one AP and get off the level. And the French guy, the medic, he's doing the same. Plus one, and he's off the level. And we have completed the cliff. So, uh, that was almost too easy. I'm kind of worried that I played that wrong. Uh, so if I did make a mistake, then please let me know and I'll leave it in the comments below. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed that. It's always nice when you, uh, a plan comes off perfectly. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll, um, be able to do this, uh, this again next time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this. If you like this and please like and subscribe to our other various different content on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Until next time, guys, stay safe and keep rolling.